Hi everyone, it's Tarrant. And Stella from the Dice Tower. Thanks for joining us. Today we'll be doing a playthrough of Nujum. This game is designed by Daniel Rosegar and published by Purple Plant Games. We are using a prototype copy here of the game, and so the rules and artwork may not be final. Let's do it, Tarrant. Are you ready for this two-player battle game? I am certainly ready. Indeed, so we are battling astrologists in uh, an early Arabian period of time. And what we'll be doing is trying to predict the movement of the stars across the sky here between the sun and the moon. And the better you can predict the movement, the more points you'll score. It's like a tug of war happening here. Indeed. So what you'll see down here on the board, it's a seven space long board. Uh, we've got some eclipse cards here. These are sort of special bonus cards and we each begin the game with one. And then these cards here, there's 42 of them, these are called the Nudrum cards. And we discard one of these unseen, so, there's a, so you can't card count. And then we reveal one of these and move the token in the direction shown. So this is a one moon, so we move one step in the moon direction. And that's the starting position for the token. Now these cards, they can be sun or they can be moon, and they range in number from one to six. Then to finish setup, we each get a hand of five of these cards. Three, four, five. And if all of them are the same color, so if you've got all sun or moon, then you uh, can discard them and replenish them. Pretty unlikely, doesn't look like it's happened to us on this occasion. They are only two colors, so. Indeed. Then we pick a first player. One, two, three. Hmm. You go first. I go first. And the game is going to... didn't like Rock should like tear up the paper? And then the <laughs> game, and from there the game is played in turns. Yeah. So each of us is involved in every turn, but there's one active player on a turn. So when it's my turn, I choose one of the cards from my hand and I play it face down. And then Stella chooses one of the cards from her hand and plays it on top. Then we will resolve the cards, Stella's first and mine second. When you reveal a card, you, if possible, move the token, the number of steps shown on the card in the direction shown. So yeah, this card moved the moon one step in the moon direction, or the token one step in the moon direction. Then you get to keep the card for your scoring pile and it will score the number of points shown on here. If there's not enough space on the track to make that movement happen, then it doesn't move at all, and you don't get to score that card. So your aim is to play, essentially find the right times to score, to play your high scoring cards and get as many points as possible. Our Eclipse cards give us some special bonuses, so they can be played after a card is played in order to swing things back in your favor. And you get to draw a new one of these if your active turn ends, with the, with the token in the center. And that's so the game. Is, this is your active turn because you play the first card. Indeed. So that was my example card. Now I have to oh. look through <laughs> and actually work out what card I want to play. We play until the deck is empty yep. and whoever has the most points in their scoring pile Wins. will be the winner. That was, that might be the card that I am going to play, that might be not. It's pretty easy, like the decision is pretty quick, but then you gotta have the, ooh, what, Ooh, what your opponent, what you think your opponent plays is going to bluff. Indeed. And then when you get more advanced at the game, you can start card counting what may or may not be left towards the end. Uh, so you've got a, a better idea of what might go on. Okay, you okay. go. Ready? Yes, reveal. Three. So one, two, three to sun. And okay. I'll take this for my pile. Okay. And I've got two to moon. So I go two steps here. I take this for my pile. Mm -hmm. And because I land in the middle, I get ah, the first Ooh, nice, okay. I think. Then we each redraw. The first play, so the active player turn, that's the one that you have to think more. The second one, because you play your card last and then it gets revealed first, it's not as much as, you know, Indeed. ever think. I'll play this one. Okay. I'll play this one. Reveal, two men. Yep. I score it. And mine is four, but I've got this card here. It actually changes the suit of your card to sun. Yes, so now is it the is a diurnal sect card. Yeah, it is a four sun. So please move. Thank you. Okay. I still get to score this. Okay, big points for you. 
redraw. Yep. And uh, now it is your turn again, your yeah, active it turn. It is my turn. So it's quiet in the moon site now, and then you probably think I'll probably be safe and play to the right and all the way to the moon side maybe, or maybe you never know what I'm gonna play. Really depends what you play. It is, okay. Let me play, it also depends on what cards I have, right? Of course. Ah, one. One moon. A feeble point for me. And two sun for me, so I just squeeze. Oh. <laughs> all right, well done, Tarrant. I mean, is he going to push all the way there or halfway or whatever? But I'm going to just play this. We'll see. Okay, I'll play this one. What is it? Two moon. Oh, no! <laughs> I played for sun, so I can't go all the way there, so this card is lost. So you were counting on me to try to take Correct. a big advantage yes. of the of the huge space mm. that was left there. All right. I'm going to play this one. All right. One. Okay, so I have uh, played the six sun. Yeah. Um, but I have a card here that can help me out. This is wow. the uh, celestial balance card. So. What happens here, you don't move the token, but you do score the card. Very good. So that means you get to get one of these cards as well. Yes. Well done. Well so played. Because we finished in the middle and it's mm -hmm. my turn, I get one of these. All right, I want to show all you all my cards. So like, turn, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. It's like, I have these cards, come on. I couldn't do much from the last, for the last turn, right? Maybe, maybe I not. I suppose not. I suppose. All right, Tarrant. Maybe you're bluffing me. Mm -hmm. This is a game of bluff. It is. All right, Karen. Uh, this is my my active turn. Yes. All right. Play this one. Three. Three moon. Three sun. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Good result for you. Play this one. This is. This could be anything. Karen could go left and right. Right. So I want to try to do it the other way if possible, but there's no way I know which way. And depending on my card as well, so I'm going to just simply play this. Okay. One sun. One sun. Four moon. What? Very good. So of course the benefit of pushing it to the end on your turn is it then lets you bounce back the other direction. Correct. So here I've got a four sun. Comes back here, some good points. I've got this card. Don't move the star token for a card of your choice, which is your card. Right. Thank you. And then I go all the way to the left and I get the six one. Very good. So that's a big swing there. Um, gives you the six points, which of course is hard to get. If you've got a six moon coming back, then you've got free reign to play it. So very good. I don't know. There is a strategy. There is one strategy. Okay. Play this one. Play that one. Five, Five. moon. Thank you. I get that one. And I've got four sun. Ah, okay. Playing it. That's Play a good one. one. It's a good result for you. Please up. One. One sun. Okay. So sad. I was like hoping that you go all the way and then I'll come back there, but that failed. Well played. You gotta try to use the cards when you got them. All right. Yeah. Play this. Okay. Might as well. I have got five that card for a moon. while. You probably get it. Get five sun, no? Three more. <laughs> Three moons. So instead, I'm oh, going. I'm going to play. Uh, I also yep. have the diurnal sect card. So I'm okay. going to one, two. Turn it into a sun card and Very move good. it three, so I can oh, score yeah. that. Oh yeah, that's a good um, that's a good opportunity to play that card. Yes. I just play it face up because we're gonna we're gonna resolve that straight away anyway. Sure. Four moon. Fully utilize this opportunity. Very good. Two moon. Failed. <laughs> I I should not just double bluff it. You just like go with it. It's like okay. Surely Taryn will utilize it and I'll just go the other way. This one. I play this one. 
Might as well. One, two, three, four, five. Good points. Mm -hmm. I get two. Yay! I'm in the middle. I mean, it's your Yay active then. Me. No! <laughs> I take it. Yeah, good. yeah, okay, okay. All right, my active then. So we're getting very close to the end of the deck here. Yeah. There'll be three turns left. It's when we can't redraw that the game ends. Right. Two sun. Three moon. Nice. I change it from sun to moon for some reason. <laughs> that was a lucky one. It's all about creating your own luck, and you can it's sort of true. watch what's coming through the deck as well That's to true. take your guess on what cards are remaining. I need to redraw as well. That one. Just simply moving to the one. And also just simply moving to the one. <laughs> All right, this is the last turn. There you go. Three sun. No, two sun. I thought of doing the moon one. Oh well. All right. We have it, so we can't redraw. Okay, so all the uh, game is done. All the remaining cards in our hands are discarded, and we add up the points values on the bottoms of our cards. Forty-five. I have thirty-eight. Well done, Taran. Congratulations. Congratulations. You won. Yeah, you've been doing some good moves there, and I couldn't use some of my higher cards. So there you go. Yeah, I managed to uh, score a couple of high cards in there. I did have two uh, six moons for about half of the game. Oh. Find those. Uh, never quite found the opportunity to play those. Very situational. You've got to be careful of the ends of the boards because it lets the other player uh, really scoop a lot of points. Yeah, if, you're, if that's the other player's turn, then that's probably a good chance for you to do it. Or unless if you want to bluff, not to do it, thinking and the other player would think like, oh, okay, I should go the other way, but it's actually not. Indeed. Uh, just looking at some of these cards that we have, so the, the Diurnal Sect uh, changes your card to Sun, Nocturnal changes your suit to Moon. We saw the Celestial Balance where the token doesn't move, but the player whose card will still scores it. There is the Horoscope, this one uh, lets you change one of the other player's nice. card suits of your choice. I had one of those. I never found the opportunity. Really brutal opportunity to use <laughs> it. And Celestial Opposition gives you the chance to uh, pick your card back up and uh, replace it with something else. So react Ooh, to what's going that on. That is a nice one, for There's sure. There's a lot of good value in these cards, and it means uh, the gameplay between scoring the, the high points when you can or really targeting that center spot when you can becomes a key part of the balance. And this is the tarot. I like the size of the tarot card. They look like tarot. They, uh, are. they are, it's actually, um, they are not just two designs. So each one has got slightly different designs, like a different color. Yep, like here's the uh, the number two moon. He's just sort of looking grumpy with his moon. <laughs> and then and when he number, becomes the- Number one. Yep, doesn't even have, it only got this one little crescent moon. Yeah. And then number three is like picking up the moon and about to throw it at somebody. And <laughs> number four is getting ready to throw. Yep. Uh, yeah. Number five. Where is yep. it? Yeah, number five. And number five is maybe, oh, actually, I don't want to throw it again. I just want to keep it with me. Yep, and number six have full command of the moon. Yeah. Uh, and similar on the sun side of things. Yeah. So there we have it. That is Nujum. And that's our pocket playthrough of Nijum. We'll put a link to the game's project page in the video description so you can check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Everything you do will help us. Every single view, every time you like the video, let us know if you have any questions and comments. And see you in our next video.